let's move on to this card. We mentioned it's a pretty good Apex card. It's not great, but it's not bad either. We've got a couple of really close matchups. We have a couple of very wild odds. And then this main event is pretty good as well. And opening up the UFC Vegas 92 fight card, we have Haley Alatang taking on Clayton Rodriguez. One of the most annoying parts about this fight, though, is Clayton is spelled differently literally everywhere. K-L-E-Y, K-L-E-I. And that makes it kind of a pain in the butt to get all of our data to find some of the bets and do that stuff. But either way, it's Clayton Rodriguez. It is with a Y. That's how he spells it on Instagram. So I imagine that's how it's spelled. Haley Altang, 16 and 9 overall, 2 2 and 1 in his last five. He's coming off that one sided loss to Chris Gutierrez. Taking on Clayton Rodriguez, 8 and 3 overall, 3 and 2 in his last five. Coming off the submission loss to Fareed Bajarat. This is one of those line movement flip fights. Haley Alting open as a favorite, a minus 115 favorite, a slight favorite. He's now plus 128 dog. Full flip there, and I kind of understand it. I understand why Haley open as a favorite. He can be a technical striker. He can be a busy grappler. He can stay in your face. He'll hang out for a firefight. He'll let his hands go. He's pretty tough. He'll move forward. He can also grapple. He has a combined 11 takedowns in four fights where he tried to grapple. The big knock on him, though, is he's either striking or grappling. He's not doing both things. There are not many fights at all in his career where he did both of those things. He is tough as nails. He can struggle with forward pressure. And he is coming off that loss to Chris Gutierrez where he had a couple of takedowns, but he was outstruck 110 to 38 because, as I mentioned, he can't do both things. And the forward pressure might be a problem for him here because he's taking on Clayton Rodriguez, and Clayton is a pressure fighter. He's a ton of fun, very versatile striking style. He'll mix in kicks really well. He's got power in his hands. He throws a lot of those punches from his hips. So they are telegraphed, but they are powerful. Takedown defense definitely needs some work. He can be taken down pretty easily, but his takedown offense is solid. He's got good trips, good clinch. He doesn't really shoot from the outside. He'll work in from there, and he'll try to get you to the ground. When he is on top, he does a good job of establishing positions and then raining down some strikes. He's coming off that finish loss to Fareed Bajrat, where he was just completely outclassed. But there was plenty of pressure, and he was always doing something. Alatang opening as the favorite makes sense to me. He and them flipping to the dog also makes sense to me because I think Alatang is definitely the exact type of guy that can beat a young, sort of sloppy Clayton Rodriguez. But he doesn't like pressure. He doesn't like forward pressure. He doesn't fight nearly as well backing up as he does moving forward. Clayton Rodriguez is going to stay in his face. He is going to back him up. And I think Clayton Rodriguez wins this fight. But if Haley shows up as a Nurmaga Madoff, He could absolutely take him down and control from there. I am going to stick with Clayton here. He's going to be the pick. Not touching a money line bet here. I just, I don't fully trust the kid that just got finished by a guy that's not very great at finishing people. What do you think, Jakey Boy? Uh, Yeah, I agree. I I, want to be all over Clayton here, but, you know, for all the kind of alarms or red flags that you raise, I'm I'm also on those. We still don't really know who Clayton is or how good he is. I mean, you saw him at 125 versus CJ, and he looked like he had a lot of heart in that fight. Then he comes back against Shannon Ross, gets the knockout, and then he's getting out-wrestled by Fareed. Now he's at 135 uh, trying to do that whole thing. You just really don't know how good this kid is. And I think he's going to be one of those guys that is always going to be you know, live by the sword or die by the sword. I think it's going to be you're chasing first-round finishes type of stuff with this guy and Alatang Haley. Is a guy that typically is a pretty durable guy. He can withstand that stuff. The issue with Alatang Haley is, uh, I think you mentioned it, fight IQ, right? Chris Gutierrez. Hey, just fucking wrestle Chris Gutierrez. Didn't try to wrestle till the end, and then all of a sudden got some late takedowns very easily. It's like, motherfucker, if you did that in the first <laughs> round, you would have won this fight. Uh, so I, I can't trust the game plan from Alatang Haley. I think Clayton is a much more dangerous fighter. Even when Fareed took him down, he almost swung around, got the back. He's dangerous on the ground and on the feet. But if this goes out of the first round, I know clayton has got a lot of heart. He showed that versus CJ. But even having heart doesn't necessarily win you rounds. And I think he might struggle second and third versus Al Tenghe Lee. So I want to be all over Clayton. I just I just need to see it, him prove it to me one more time, especially at 135. Um, so he's going to be my pick, but I, I've stayed away from betting him. Yeah, it's funny because somebody commented Clayton Rodriguez got finished by CJ Vergara or lost to CJ Vergara. That's a bad look. I disagree. CJ is a dog, dude. We have seen CJ in war after war. I don't think losing to CJ makes you a bum at all. 
And Cladeson was very tired. He did not quit. I mean, he was still no. he was still trying. He was still winning scrambles, trying to win scrambles, doing what he could. Yeah. So I I I think it's literally going to be uh, an issue for Haley with Cladeson just moving forward, not stopping, staying in his face. But it is a tricky fight. I totally get the line flip. DraftKings though is very interesting. Seventy six hundred dollars for Haley Alatang, eighty six hundred for Cladeson. If Haley Alatang grapples. Works in the wrestling. I mentioned he has 11 takedowns in the four fights that even attempted takedowns. If that's the route he goes, he will cruise well past his salary. Do you like either one of these guys in DraftKings? I think there could be value in Clayton. I think that, you know, although Alatang Haley is, is typically a durable guy, if there's somebody that's going to finish somebody like him, it probably is going to be like a Clayton. I'm looking for a bet right now to see what the odds are that I might like. I haven't played yet. Let me see. What is this, 92? Yeah. And Clayton's definitely the um, the finisher of the two. If there's going to be a finish in this fight, it will be on that side. Yeah, inside the distance. I mean, inside the distance decision of action for Clayton is plus 120. And I think he's got the heart. I mean, Al Tanghe Lee is not really typically a, a big finisher. What, and he's Why is it he, plus 120? What's, what's the odds on the over? Is that why they're just expecting the refund? Yeah, over two and a half is minus two. Uh, minus yeah, so they're just expecting um, the refund. And he's the one that got finished in his last fight, too. So, I mean, there's that caveat as well. But Freed's a l- little bit of a different animal than Alateng Haley. But that's an interesting play to me. Because I think he's got heart to survive. Yeah, it's funny because I, I threw a bunch of bets on the board earlier today. Um, and I was looking at all the fights. Like, where could I get an inside the distance decision? No action. I didn't even look at this one because I'm typically looking for underdogs. Right? I'm typically like, who's a big dog that is durable? But I didn't, I mean, looking at Clayton as the favorite here who has all the finishing upside to get plus money on that bet, it's not a terrible bet, so I might jump on that too. I think I'm going to play that, yeah. Yeah, I might jump I might jump all over that. If you do want to check out all the bets that we have placed already, all the picks, the tools, the round line leans, and more, it's only $10 for an entire month. That will include UFC 302. Just go to wewantpicks.com, click become a member at the top. You'll instantly unlock everything you have ever wanted or needed heading into fight week. And it's also just a fantastic way to support me, Jakey Boy, the rest of the people behind the scenes, and this channel as a whole, as not at. We want picks.com. Click become a member at the top. We do have a $5 super chat from an off the rails Dr. Y. He said, well, I just saw Haley's comment. She waved, said, why you always running in place? Even the man in the moon disappeared somewhere in the stratosphere. Are these song lyrics? Uh, do you know? You're the song guy. The last part sounds familiar. It sounds like a These seem like song. Like, Haley's Comet. I grew up when Haley's Comet was a thing. Pretty sure that was in the 90s. All those people off themselves thinking that a comet was coming to change the world. Second chance by Shine Down. There you go. Shine Down. A Shine Down lyric. Holy shit. Good for you, Dr. Y. Somewhere in the stratosphere, isn't something like that? I don't know. Well, you know what I have in my head now? There's a shiny star, it's gonna hit right now, hit right now. What song is that? B.O.B. and Bruno. Yeah, B.O.B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, shiny stars. I like Shine Down. What was Shine Down's super famous song? It might be this one. I'm going to it right now. Is Shine Down Think Twice Will You Touch My Girl? Come around. No, 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 no. Was that Shine Down? Think twice or think touch for me, touch my girl. I think that's shine down. All right, I gotta move on. I'm trying to listen to it. Three, <laughs> three, I don't know. Three, <laughs> is is shine down that song? I know the um, I know the band. I didn't. I, I was listening, so I couldn't hear what you were saying. Oh yeah, it's like think twice for you, touch my girl. Come around, and nah, 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 nah. that's shine down, right? I don't know. I, know I didn't, and those. Those aren't even the words. It's not. That's Nickelback. I'm not singing Nickelback. First of all, Nickelback is fantastic, but that wasn't Nickelback. Think I twice for you. T- oh, Nickelback was fantastic. Like the string for Nickelback. Actually, real quick, I saw the lead singer from Nickelback. Somebody interviewed him. Like, how did you turn into a meme? Like, how did it become f- cool to make fun of Nickelback? And there is literally an exact moment. In time, I'm forgetting what it is now, but there was like an exact moment in pop culture where somebody made a joke about Nickelback being lame 
And then it just took over and became a cultural phenomenon. And now 20 years later, people are like, they're not lame. These songs are fantastic. It's good music. And they are. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're genuinely good songs. And like, he was angry about it. Like, he wasn't just like laughing it off. He was like, yeah, like that really affected our one joke. Definitely affected our lives in a negative way. Before you go, let me give you $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets $50 as a thank you. Use the link, sign up, make a deposit. We send you 50 bucks as a thank you.